Artificial intelligence may be the hottest investment area at the current moment, but the excellent news is you do not need to invest a substantial fortune to potentially benefit in the future. Many promising players trade for less than $100, and in fact, some even trade for under $10. Now let us assume you have $100 that you would like to invest in this high growth area. With this amount, you actually can get involved with three of my favorite artificial intelligence players, each with a business that helps them stand out from the crowd. Considering the artificial intelligence market is growing at a compounding annual growth rate in the double digits, and the market is forecasted to surpass $1 trillion by the end of the decade. This means we could be at the start of an exciting growth story with significant earnings potential ahead. So let us examine my top artificial intelligence stocks, players that together have the potential to significantly grow your $100 as this market takes off. Palantir has traditionally been known for its contracts with governments helping them aggregate their data and make better use of it for various projects. These days, growth is taking off at Palantir thanks to its use of artificial intelligence throughout its platforms and the idea that this artificial intelligence powered technology may be useful for companies and the government has helped this company reach new highs. In fact, commercial use of Palantir systems is growing thanks to the company's launch of its artificial intelligence platform and its boot camps to show potential users just how transformative this technology could be for their businesses. This helped Palantir report 70% growth in United States commercial revenue in the most recent quarter and a 55% increase in United States commercial customer count. This business is driving growth at the present time, and Palantir Chief Executive Officer Alex Karp says he expects this trend to continue. Palantir has partnered with top cloud providers, and most recently, the company announced a deal to make its platforms deployable across Oracle Cloud infrastructure. All of this could help Palantir more easily reach customers of these particular cloud services. Today, Palantir shares trade for about $21, but with growth in the United States commercial business just getting started, the stock could easily head higher from here. A year ago, the company released the Palantir Artificial Intelligence Platform. To fend off the competition, the company began hosting seminars called boot camps, where prospective customers could demo its artificial intelligence platform software. The goal was to help potential customers identify a use for it. This lead generating strategy appears to be working. In 2023, Palantir increased its customer count by 35% year over year. Moreover, the company is accelerating its expansion beyond its legacy government contractor business. It grew its private sector customer count by 44% last year. In the fourth quarter, United States revenue from these clients grew 70% year over year. Looking at the company's finances sheds some light on how the artificial intelligence platform Platform is helping Palantir. The company was founded in 2003 and took 17 years to reach $1 billion in revenue. Just three years later, it eclipsed $2 billion in sales. In 2023, Palantir's revenue increased 17% year over year to $2.2 billion, underlining how quickly breakthroughs in artificial intelligence are unlocking new growth for software companies. Even better, the company is witnessing a surge in the bottom line as well. Last year, free cash flow grew more than threefold to $730 million, and the operating margin expanded six percentage points year over year. The chart below benchmarks Palantir against peer high growth software as a service developers in artificial intelligence. The company's price to sales ratio of 23 is the highest among this cohort, narrowly above Datadog. While the stock has become a little pricey, it is important to note that Palantir's valuation multiples really began to expand in February following the company's strong fourth quarter earnings report. Since that report, optimistic buying activity has fueled newfound momentum in the share price. Despite its premium price, Palantir stock still looks attractive to me. Moreover, one of Wall Street's most esteemed technology analysts, Dan Ives of Wedbush Securities, is calling for massive upside in the stock. He set a price target of $35, nearly 59% above current trading levels. Analysts do not always get things right, but I am in agreement with Ives' optimism. My take is that Palantir is well worth the premium. The combination of top-line growth and robust cash flow makes it stand out among the competition because many high-growth software-as-a-service businesses are not yet consistently profitable. In the fourth quarter, Palantir reported its fifth consecutive quarter of generally accepted accounting principles profitability. Furthermore, the 
financial and operating results mentioned above drive home the idea that the company's decades of investing in artificial intelligence provide a competitive advantage. This has led to a new wave of growth, with consistently strong sales and profits. The progress to date is encouraging, but I think Palantir's long-term journey to disrupt big tech is just getting started. Now it looks like a lucrative opportunity to use dollar cost averaging to help build a position or add to an existing one. Investors with long-time horizons will not want to miss out on the company's potential in artificial intelligence. Next, let's talk about Intel. Intel fell behind in the early days of the artificial intelligence chip race, but it may have two potential revenue drivers just ahead. The company just announced the upcoming launch of its Gaudi 3 artificial intelligence accelerator. A chip, it says, could outperform market leader NVIDIA's top chip when used in certain large language models. Though Intel did not offer a price range for Gaudi 3, it indicated the chip is cheaper than NVIDIA's H100, and this combination of solid performance at a good price could appeal to a wide range of artificial intelligence customers. Even if NVIDIA's highest performing chip ever is stronger, some projects may not necessarily require that strength, and those customers could opt for Intel. Intel also may benefit from the opening of its manufacturing network to others in a quest to become the world's number two chip maker by 2030. This offers the company an entirely new revenue stream, and as the only United States-based foundry, it could appeal to many local customers. Intel shares trade for about $35, making them a perfect fit for our $100 budget today, but the catalysts could eventually push them to a much higher level. Now let's talk about SoundHound AI. This company is an innovator in the area of voice artificial intelligence, with its platform immediately translating speech thanks to automatic speech recognition and natural language understanding technologies. Today, SoundHound serves companies such as restaurants using its platform to take customer orders or car makers integrating voice into vehicles, but in the future other industries, including healthcare and retail, represent additional opportunities. In fact, the total addressable market by 2026 may total more than $160 billion. Though SoundHound is small at the moment, with $17 million in revenue in the most recent quarter, demand for its voice technology looks strong. In the quarter, revenue and adjusted earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization both soared 80%. The company also reported a subscriptions and bookings backlog of more than $600 million and reached an annual run rate of 3.5 billion queries. SoundHound stock soared earlier in the year on news that top chip company NVIDIA had invested in the company but has since pulled back to about $4. This young voice artificial intelligence player still has a long path ahead to profitability, but today it makes a compelling bet for aggressive investors who do not mind some risk. If you want more videos on the best stocks to buy, then press the like button and subscribe.